or a car that you're out riding with my knees. Arthritis in your knees? And when I took off running, I was hurting a little bit, but I kept running. And y'all, my knees feel so much better. And as I was running, I kept increasing my speed, y'all. I know there isn't any pain in my knees. Yeah. Who's next? <laughs> I was say ladies first, but you're both ladies, so. I have lupus. I had it. I had lupus. <laughs> and I was sitting back there when I first got here, my knees was hurting me so bad. But when you start, you start speaking, thank you, Jesus, I got to start running, and my whole body just got a whole relief all over. Yeah. You don't feel the lupus? Hey, lift your hands. Someone give me a hand real quick. Yeah. Like this. It's all, uh, Lori's all ready. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. There's an angel standing right there. Angels are doing these miracles from heaven. And there's an angel ministering to her right now. And I and you can release angels. I release the angel of the Lord to minister to her, not just physically, but to even concerning her destiny. And now that she's healed, what she's going to do for God. Lord, fill her with fire from your Holy Spirit. I can feel it from here, man. It's strong. It's not coming from me. It's coming from the heavens. The angels are bringing it. Woo! Oh, more, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. Jubilee. It's she's She's got a cord all over her. Still on? It's inside. Woo! God's going to speak to her about her destiny. She's going to do more. Her calling hasn't fully come yet. She's going to do it. Now she can do it. Now she can do what God's called her to do. She's not just going to stay home. She's going to do stuff. That was holding her back. A lot of times sickness holds you back from her destiny. <laughs> Hallelujah. She's feeling good. That's a glory. That's not emotionalism. That's not just emotionalism. That's the Holy Spirit touches. I can tell the difference when someone's just getting emotional and just to be emotional or it's the Spirit touching. Because I just said, Holy Spirit, boom, she, that's God. Touching the emotions and the body and the destiny and things happen. Yeah, you can stay there. Who, who's next? Well, oh, you can stay there if you want. Yeah, what happened? I have um, chronic migraine headaches and chronic daily headaches, muscle spasms. When you were counting down, I couldn't wait for you to finish because when you got to two, my knee had been hurting, my shoulder and my neck and my uh, shoulder blades, just chronic pain since I got here. When you got to two, I wanted you to finish because I was ready to run because when you got to two, my pain was gone. And I two is already gone. I'm pain free and I just been running and professing. I never changed my testimony anyway because I am already healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's awesome. Who's next? Isn't this fun? All these miracles just flow? What happened? Now listen, check your bodies. While they're sharing, kind of just keep checking because it's still moving in here. So many people, the next day after a service like this, I'll get emails and calls from our ministry saying, Oh my God, I lost weight. My cancer's gone. I got three gold teeth. It'll keep going. You might not see it now, but if you keep looking now, you might see it now. There's many more than what's up here. I wrote down everything I wanted God to do. My shirt is literally like baggy. My arms shrunk in front of my face. My arms shrunk? Yes. I couldn't do this at first. You could have put your fingers around your her. She couldn't do this. She, her hand, arms shrunk. I was running and my undergarments were falling. I'm like, <laughs> She's, she's cute. She reminds me of my little kids, but she's older, but she's like funny. She's just right there. She's funny. Lift your hand. Close your eyes. Lord, give her that funny spirit to make people laugh, Father God. Give, let her bring joy to other people, Father God. Ooh, Lord, thank you for touching, Lord. Fill her with a new glory now. Ooh, you're being filled right now. Oh, heavy glory. That's fine. Who's, who else got to heal? You got to heal. Come on. Ladies first. Um, I was totally surprised because I had thought about other things that when you called out the TMJ, I had gone to it. I saw that. I said TMJ, and she goes, boom. It, it, just, it just hit me like the spirit hit me. And um, I had gone to a dental clinic and had some work done. And I started to eat, and my, I opened my mouth, and my 
my fork hit my chin because my and I, I was unaware that my mouth would not open and it would only open so far and I'd have to go and I called them and they're like well let's do this and that and so anyway it's been really painful and uh, when you said that it was like it hit me and my mouth went look just now it went like that I mean, and I can open the full just now this is like a few minutes ago yeah, yeah just just now, as I said, I looked at you and you went. Yeah, just when you said it, I mean, I, I wasn't really paying attention to you, but like the spirit hit me like bam, and it was like three, just like that. I mean, and, and it just testified to me because you were talking about the ease of receiving and the, I guess, the drunk person or whatever. It's because I never saw it coming. Hallelujah. That's, that, that's see, I, I'm teaching it to you. Then I'm demonstrating it to you that what I'm saying, God's confirming my, the what I'm preaching with signs. Don't that confirming it? Let, look how fast it is. When you're in the glory and you begin to pray, even in your house, things will go much faster in the glory. How many want to be in the glory? It's better than begging and begging God. Just go to God, go where God is. And you're not beggars, you're, you're his kings and priests. You're king's kids. You don't beg, you can say, Thank you, Lord. I just decree it, Lord, that what you see it, it's different. How many want to do that? Who's next? Who got, who's got here? So many humans. Wow. I don't know that you get this sun, so many. Isn't this amazing? How easy it is? Why am I testifying? Because when you testify in a city like this, it pushes demonic powers back. Just testifying of miracles pushes the powers of demonic and religiosity out of the town. Everyone's been talking about this in town. And it, 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 it destroys the religious spirit in the city. People go, what? Yeah, miracle. No, I can't be. Yeah, miracle right from her face. It, it just and then all the time people start talking. And, Did you hear about that? Did you? It's like the time of Jesus. It'll start creating something in the city, and it dismantles and destroys the demonic religious spirit system just by testifying. That's why I'm doing it. What happened? Ever since I was 12 years old, I was, I was in the car when I was 12 years old, and I could never be in my bed. And I, I couldn't hear out this left ear. But as she told us to run, when I began to run, I did just like this. <laughs> I told another lady to, um, you can't do that. I told another lady to, um, That's your right ear, I think, isn't it? Yeah, my right Your right ear. Yeah. And that was deaf there? Yeah. yeah, I couldn't hardly hear. And I, and I told the lady in the back to whisper in my ear, just say hello or something. And when she said hello, it was so loud in my ear. <laughs> Like 80% or 50%? Oh no, how percent I will, of course. You can hardly hear. I just couldn't hear. I know it's gone. It's 100% now. Yeah, I'm 100% now. I don't know what percent, but I was here. Who's next? Who's, who else got a miracle? Yeah, what happened to you? He's dead. She's cute. What's your, what's your name? Right there. Yes, right there. You lift your hands here. 
Thanks, those are us. Yeah, close your eyes. I'm just going to pray. I won't touch you. Just, just, just receive from the Lord. Can you close your eyes? They're all over the place. Okay. Well, she says she's a lot better in the bone to bone, but I'm going to pray for 100%. Father, the Bible says he who began a good work is faithful to finish it. So, Lord, you, you began it. And in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for finishing it, Father. We just release your angels and our ministering angels that work in the air of healing. In Jesus' name, create a miracle. Ooh, I feel it. Stretch out your hand. I see a hand of God's angels, boom, going right into the knees and her ear. Stretch out your hands, Father. Recreate a miracle and finish the full carnage growth. Be recreated an ear. Touch! Ear be recreated right now. I see God licking his finger and boom, putting it right in the ear. And, and going right into the kneecap. More, 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 more. There's angels right there. God, I just release those angels right there. It is. There's an angel right there for her. I release that angel right on her right now. Minister angels, minister to her now. In Jesus' name, I release angels that work in healing on the behalf of Jesus. Angels, be fully released to minister to this air of salvation, healing, create a miracle, strength. All over her right now. Is this fun? When you're in the glory, it's like you delegate. It's almost like delegating. You, you're not doing all the work. You're just releasing her. She said, "I'm feeling hot." See, more Lord. It's not done. She's feeling heat on her body right now. What is that? At the angels. You ask the Father in the name of Jesus. It's through the Holy Spirit on the earth through angels. That's the order of the structure of how things operate. Jesus gets all the glory. He paid for it, but that's how it's released. Angels, more. I just Lord triple the angels on her now. There it is. <laughs> triple it. Triple the heat too. A three-fold cord, not easily broken. Triple it, Lord. Let your wind of fire and spirit blow on her. <sighs> Baptize in the Holy Ghost and fire. Oh, man. And add some jubilee. It's like doing that. <laughs> you just stay there. You're just being touched. Who else got healed? You stay there. There's another miracle testimony coming up. But you got one, yeah, coming up. There's so many, I'm telling you, there's more if you guys keep checking your body. And, and let me know if you got healed. Email me too. What happened? I've had uh, seizures in the past and they just kind of come at random and it's really tough to uh, to live life when you, you know, you never know when you're going to collapse on the ground. I collapsed one time and um, broke my jaw in two places and I haven't been able to open my jaw for uh, very wide. And uh, now I can open it, and uh, I'm looking forward to eating an apple or something. Let's see. Let's see. Show it, show it, show it. Wow. Wait, do you know those, do they have those ap apple bobbing contests here? You have those? Apple bobbing contests? You got those? We used to do those in Arizona. Arizona's still south, too. Look on the map. It's still south. Just west south. It's south. So you, you, you go to that contest, and you win. So I don't know if that was uh, like confirmation of, of healing for seizures or what. I would think because he, he, why would he just do that but let you have that? That's gonna keep bringing that. Yeah. Lift, lift, lift your hands. Yeah, I was just gonna do it. Look, but we just decree and declare that he, that Lord, you're a smart God. You're not. You're a very smart Lord. You're not gonna heal just one thing and then not heal the thing that caused the John to break. So you already healed it. I believe you healed it, Lord. I just say thank you, Lord. And I say fire of God. Go through his entire body, his being. Go through his spirit. Every cell of his body is DNA. That I declare your DNA to the core of your being. There it is. Be healed. And your RNA. Your spirit, man. Your DNA. Your blood. And your mind. Everything. And I break any curses on the father and mother's side, generationally. Breaks right now. And I decree total, total, total healing. I bind the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. I bind the spirit of fear that's kind of like is a lock and key to that seizure. It's broke. And I, I, it's not, I believe it's gone, but I decree don't come back in Jesus' name. Seizures do not come back. I bind that attack on his body. I, I plead the blood around him, a wall of fire around him. The, the, the devil, you can't cross the bloodline. That he'll have a wall of fire, circular glory. Angels around him all the time. Use him. For your glory, in Jesus' name. Use him, Father God. Oh, it's hot, man. I don't always like hands, but when sometimes you feel your hand getting hot, then you do it. You just go by the Spirit. Don't just do everything mechanically. That's my point. And don't always go to man of God, lay your hands on me. Maybe that's not my, maybe not the way. Don't tell him how to do it. Just say, Lord, you do it. How do you want to do it? Who do you want to use? Might I be that man of God? Because you've been to three men of God, you didn't get healed. So 
So that's not maybe the way, is it? It's not always the way. Hallelujah. God's touching you. God's going to use you to be able to call in your life since you were a little boy. And, and, and the enemy's trying to hinder that from a childhood. And I just see that breaking off. God's going to use you to lead others to Him. He's going to use you in deliverance and all kind of stuff. And he just, they may just try to put that fear to stop you from doing your calling. But you're going to do it. Hallelujah. I love that. This is fun. This is awesome. And you know, I feel the spirit of love between the races here. That's what I'm feeling. Like the black, white, Spanish, Jewish, Asian. I'm feeling like there's such a love here. When the glory comes, it breaks all the walls and everyone just starts loving each other. It's, it's like heaven. So, Did you feel that? And you, when you see the sister sharing or you see uh, the other girl here or him, you just you feel for them. You know, it's like, oh, Lord, thank you for that. That's how it's got to be. We're all on the same team, see? Amen. Team kingdom, see? There's no different teams within the kingdom. We're all on the same team against the demonic powers. It's one team, us, and then who else got healed? You got healed? This is a healing testimony line. If you didn't get healed yet, just keep pulling on it. Okay. Yeah, just keep claiming. And, and, and so, so, yeah, you keep, keep pulling on it. Yeah, yeah, you just pull from heaven. Yeah, Oh, you keep pulling on it. Yeah. He replaced me. Yeah. So see, if you're still here waiting for it, you pull on it, and I would just keep checking that. See, yeah, you just keep doing it. It's here. And a lot of you don't realize you ran around, you checked it, and you said, "Oh, I don't see it healed yet." It's forming inside. A lot of people come and they go, "I didn't get it," and then the next one they make up their heel. But my, my thing is, the Lord teaches me, don't pull them to you. Like they have to go to the man to be healed. See, you see that? Say, I can't heal her. Jesus can. Now, sometimes I'll pray for people, sometimes I don't. I only do what the Lord leads me to do it, but I don't have to do it. See, there's angels right here killing me. See what I'm saying? Jesus didn't heal everybody all the time, but when he did do the miracle service, a lot of me means everybody got healed. <laughs> he's going to heal right now. You see how the angels are doing it? See, now, if you're a minister, your first temptation is to go, oh, yes, sister, and you start praying. But she's already had to pray for she didn't get healed. So God's trying to teach her maybe, you know, or others, you know what, just get it directly. So I purposely, I wasn't going to pray for her. The Lord told me, you don't pray for her. Now, I can get people mad at me. You're mad at God. You want to pray for me? You have to do it. No, I don't. Jesus said, I only do what I see or hear the Father do. He saw the lame man at the gate beautiful. That He, he, didn't, he was there all the time. He didn't pray for him. He wasn't ready yet until a certain time. See? I get people mad at me sometimes. But I just, but when I do, it works. See, just, I'm going to be like Jesus. Do what Jesus does. Whatever you see him doing, you do it. You can do a courtesy prayer because you feel sorry for me. You bring pressure. Okay, oh, I don't know about shaka. But nothing happened. They just think you were passive or praying. But you, you already knew it wasn't going to happen that way. But just have to say face. You go, oh, don't get mad at me. Okay, yeah. It's harder when you're a pastor because you're from the low. They know where you live. See, I'm leaving tomorrow. So <laughs> We're going to pray for impartation of heavenly glory now. Unless there's one more big testimony. Who else got a big healing? I'm sure there's more coming. If, if there is, you should be up here. But let's all stand up. We're going to pull on this. Oh, wait, wait. Sit down real quick. If, if you watch this video and fast forward it, you, if you see people going up and down real fast. You know? Is anyone not saved yet? And then we'll pray for glory. Anyone not saved? Now, over here, too. And if you got healed over here, anyone not saved? You're not saved? You're saved? You want to be saved? 